one of the areas that I spend a lot of research on or, or thinking about, I should say, more than empirical research, is what is sort of the philosophical nature of all this. What, what does this mean in terms of our experience of reality? And because when people say, well, because you know, sometimes people are worried that, well, if we find out that we can use a certain drug that is going to create a spiritual experience, that that somehow diminishes what that spiritual experience is all about. And I always go back to the shamans and so forth who have used these substances for thousands of years and say, you know, when they know that they're taking something that gets them into that state, they may not necessarily know that it's a, a psychedelic drug per se, but, but they know that this is a substance that they take and puts them into another, another state of consciousness, another state of, of reality and experience that they have. But for them, it's just opening up that door. It's opening up that window into a real spiritual realm for them. So it doesn't, simply because somebody takes a pharmacological logical substance doesn't mean that it actually diminishes, at least from, from my perspective, doesn't mean that it diminishes what that experience is all about, what the reality of that experience is all about for that individual, and, and how that may have some kind of transformative effect on them throughout their, their lives. So the, you know, it, it has the potential to be able to do something like that.